Let's try to convert grams per milliliter to kilograms per cubic meter. To do this, we'll be using some conversion ratios. One kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. And one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. And 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. And these are the conversion ratios that will be needed to answer the question. So if we have a number like 4.032 grams per milliliter, and we want to convert it to kilograms per cubic meter, so we need to convert two things. We need to convert the grams to kilograms, and we need to convert the milliliters to cubic meters. So we can start by converting the grams to kilograms. So I would multiply this by the conversion factor of one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. I'll place the number with the units of grams on the bottom because this unit of grams is on the top. When you have the same units on the top and bottom of the fractions, they will cancel out, which is what we want because we want to convert the 4.032 grams into kilograms, so we need the unit of grams to cancel. The next thing I would do is multiply this by the conversion ratio of one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. I'll place the unit of milliliters on the top of the fraction because I want it to cancel with this unit of milliliters on the bottom of the fraction to convert the milliliters to cubic centimeters. And the next thing we're going to do is multiply this by the conversion ratio of 100 centimeters equals 1 meter. And we can't just use the unit of centimeters here because this centimeters is raised to the power of 3. So what we'll do is raise this whole fraction to the power of 3. And this would effectively cancel the units of cubic centimeters. When you have the same units on the top and bottom of the fractions, you can cancel them. So we can cancel the milliliters here with these milliliters here, and we can cancel the grams here with this unit of grams here. And then we can calculate the numbers. 4.032, when the numbers are on the bottom, we divide, and if the numbers are on the top, we multiply. And just ignore the ones. A number multiplied by 1 is the same number, and a number divided by 1 is the same number. So 4.032 divided by 1000 multiplied by 100 raised to the power of 3. So the answer is 4032. And on the top, the only units we have left is kilograms. So this will be kilograms. And on the bottom, the only units we have left is meters cubed. So on the bottom of our fraction, we'll have cubic meters. And this is the final answer. 4,032 kilograms per cubic meter.